on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Let us open up to the hospital, shall we? In which it's Inko, Izuku, Miski, and Katsumi. In which Inko, she is right by Izuku's hospital bed, just constantly asking what happened, what happened, how did this occur and everything. Why did he jump? As Miski, she's right there next to Inko, crying, wondering the same thing. As they look at Katsumi, there may not be tears, but there is utter shock in her face. What? Katsumi, what's wrong? I, I, it was a joke. It was supposed to be, I was joking. What? What are you talking about? Wait, what do you mean you were joking? What was a joke? He wasn't supposed to joke. He wasn't actually supposed to do that. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> God's me. What are you talking about? As then Inko stands up, hovering over Katsumi, despite, you know, <laughs> did you do this? Uh, you did. What did you say to him? I, I uh, what did you say to my son? I didn't mean I that wasn't supposed to is this is when uh, a couple of girls show up cast me we're sorry what 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 are they talking about oh uh, hey miss Bakugo. Miss Midoriya, we heard. Oh, thank you, girls. But I right now I want to know what's going on with my daughter, and why she's saying things like it was a joke. He wasn't supposed to jump, and the stupid one—you can take her pick. Pretty much just says. Oh, because she told him to take a spawn dive and maybe he'll get a quarter. Go. Oh. Inko hearing this. Miski hearing this. The girls run out before any repercussions as they look down at Katsumi. So this was all your fault. All that talk about you being a hero. Was that a lie? Do you want to be a villain instead? Because if you do, congratulations. Because if he doesn't make it, do you know what that means? That means his blood is on your hands. And you just murdered someone. Congratulations. I I didn't, it, he wasn't, you, you two used to be friends, right? Why would you tell him something like this? Why would you do that? I, uh, I was just kidding. He looked up to you. He praised your quirk more than anyone. Those notes in his notebook. Wait. As then Inko rummages through Izuku's notebook and sees that it is tethered, burned. What? 
You did this. My son jumped because of you. As yeah. When it comes to how Izuku is doing, it's touch and go. They don't really know how, but how much this is going to really affect him, especially considering. Yeah, it was a pretty bad fall when you really think about it. Constantly, she's trying to explain herself, but this is around the time when the police appear. Uh, what are they doing here? I I don't know. And then they look at Inko. She sure as hell doesn't know. So just calm down. No one called us. We just wanted to, to possibly get a statement from uh, Miss Bakugo. Maybe she knows something about how this occurred. From what we can tell, he could have been pushed. Ego's heart sinks hearing that it's bad enough that he's in such a critical condition. But if he was pushed, he's just looking like, did you? No, no, I didn't push him. I swear. As they just show some pictures in which it has signs, not of a struggle, but... At least, there was a sign that, yeah, if he did try to off himself, chances are, <laughs> it was more of a last minute decision change, you could say. He, like, he changed his mind last minute. But, yeah, if, uh... The person in question isn't awake to clear the air. I um I I swear I didn't. Yeah, Inko. She doesn't know how to really take this. Like I said before, it's bad enough he's in this state, but if someone actually tried to kill him, and he sure as hell can't say anything, what's, uh, what can he really do here? And then, Recovery Girl shows up. Inko. Mom. Wait, What? As yes, this is when Inko finally reveals that yeah, Recovery Girl's her mama. Bakugo is shocked because yes, of course he would know of other heroes. Just hell, you know, he really pay more attention to the All Might since number one, of course. Miski may have heard some rumors and whatnot, or at least heard Inko say it before. It's just eh, it didn't really matter that much. They were still friends, regardless. What happened? Them looking at Katsumi, she said he jumped. Why would he do that? Yes. Katsumi, why? He has so much to live for, didn't he? Unless he really wanted a quirk that badly. What? What are you talking about, Inko? That jumping off a roof wouldn't give him a quirk. That's ridiculous. Nonsense. Maybe in another life, it would. Looks like he wanted to test the theory. Recovery Girl looking at Katsumi. So, 
he jumped. But why would he think he would possibly get another quirk in his next life? <laughs> so I could lose my grandson because of you. I... Uh, I'm sorry. Don't... You just better hope you can pull through this. I'm gonna do what I can. Wait, what? I'm gonna try to save my grandson. <sighs> One thing is, I. Hmm. It's gonna be more difficult. Are you. Do you really think you're gonna be able to? Luckily. I can say I've healed worse, but still, there's no real. Oh, we'll have to wait and see if it takes. As yes, it's pretty much Izuku's life on the thread. Inko, as you can guess, is still eyeing Katsumi like. You bear pray my son pulls through this. Everyone's outside and uh, yeah. it's not the, looking too good. That's until Recovery Girl shows back up. Okay, he's perfectly stable, not in critical condition. I'm healing what I can. From what I can tell. Yes, that was one terrible fall. But, as far as I can tell, there shouldn't be any permanent damage. At least, none that I can see so far. That's good. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> you are lucky. Just, you should go home. And hopefully, my grandson wakes up. As, yeah, got to me, she's gone. She leaves. We see offers to stay. Just leave. Your hair reminds me of your daughter, and I, I can't right now. I understand. Anywho, as soon as you go and recover, you're all pretty much all alone. They just ask if only he could have been born with a quirk. This could have been avoided somehow. Mom, you know how things are. There's no way. Boys don't get quirks. I know. But if only he could have one. Maybe, just maybe. I'm so sorry. You can go. It's not your fault, Mom. It's... I just wish I could have done more. I know, dear. All we can do is hope for the best. And that is how that scene plays out. In which... Izuku is... Sleeping. For at least... Let's say... A month and a half. The career girl continues with his treatment, and uh, Inko is praying every day. When it comes to Bakugo, Kazumi, and Miski, it's pretty much 
they're really start looking more into this investigation thing especially when it comes to the police thinking that someone might have pushed him or he had a last minute wait no I don't want to die yet you know it's <laughs> a little bit harder to prove anyone's innocence if the survivor can't talk anyway let's get to Izuku finally opening his eyes in which you can see the hope and the happiness within Inko and Recovery Girl and this is pretty much when the time Izuku just wait Recovery Girl what are you doing here? Oh, call me Grandma. Huh? <laughs> Wait, Mom, is that why? He said, yeah. That's why we don't visit my parents often. Oh. Well, okay. That's interesting to know. Yeah, I know I probably should have told you before, but <sighs> if anything, I didn't want you to feel some type of way or whatnot. Well, learning that my grandparent is a hero, that that's amazing. Heck, she's one of the most useful heroes that are lesser known than All Might. Really? Of course, could you imagine if some heroes didn't have some he healing from you, or let alone civilians that could have died without your quirk? As then Izuku gets up, everyone's like, whoa, 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 hold it, hold it, wait, cal calm down a second, don't, don't do anything too hasty. But I'm fine. Huh? Yeah, I I'm good as, yeah, Izuku, he just starts jumping around like no business. Like, wait, wait, but what about rehabil rehabilitation? Mom? Uh, 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 that's not possible. <laughs> this is great. I feel better than ever. And then, yes, he just starts moving like a uh, man possessed. Inko trying again to calm his ass down. Recovery girl is like, okay, something's off here. Something, something doesn't feel right. Zeus. Like, wait, I want to try something. What? Huh? I want to try a backflip. Please don't, as he does it, but the only thing is, he's never done one before, and as you know, backlit flips can prove to be very hazardous if you're not completely prepared, or in this case for Izuku, he goes out an open window. Inko and a recovery girl. The amount of screams and tears starting to flow could blow eardrums and flood the whole hospital. But they are hella shot when you see that a huge ass crater is there and not a drop of red. Uh. Wait, what? Inko, they will have to have to uh, uh, mom? Recovery girl? Well, this is a surprise, isn't it? Izuku's like, hi, mom, what's going on? Uh, they're wondering, wait, no, the, the, something's not right here. I don't think I did a black flip right. 
hold on, I'll be right there. Him, just like, I wonder if I could, he's crouching down. Then the, he wouldn't. Recovery girl, is he gonna try to jump up here after that stunt of his? Izuku doing it, but missing, causing another crater. Wait, no, 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 no. And then he does it again. He gets higher until he finally makes it to his hospital room. And recovery girl is like, okay, you sit down. A now. Uh, no, I'm going to heal you just in case you did anything stupid and broke anything. But, uh, recovery girl. I mean, Grandma, I'm fine, I swear. Yeah. Yeah, your mother thought you were fine, but you didn't say anything about you being bullied. Uh, exactly. As of now, it's pretty much like... <sighs> The quirk really takes it out of me. Well, let's see here. From what I can tell, yes, you. You're fine. You really? Yes, despite your attempts. It seems as though there is no real damage here. I, I don't understand. I mean. Uh, you're, you are quirkless, aren't you, dear? Yeah, I mean, the daughter said so, so... <sighs> hmm. Strange. That makes no sense. How could you be quirkless? But this, this... Hmm. I'm going to run some more tests when it comes to this. What do you mean? Well, you were diagnosed quirkless, yes, but you have to really consider the fact that maybe you do have one, but there's something off with your DNA. Like it could be a mutation. Either way, yes, we're going to have to really consider the fact that you do have a quirk. We just don't know what it is yet. Really? Something I can be hold on, slow down. Yes, your, your quirk has seemingly, possibly, maybe awakened, but we still don't know what it is. So, before we try to say, yeah, you can be a hero, we need to Wait. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine. Good. As now, yes, they are doing a multitude of tests when it comes to testing it. His blood, his tissue, all that. Right down to actually looking at his x-rays again. Which, yeah, they are the same. But it's his blood and his uh, muscle fibers are different. They had to take multiple samples, but it became more and more difficult to actually make an incision or have the needle go through his skin. Recovery girl, pretty much okay. That's interesting. What was interesting? Hmm, how should I put this? It's kind of like you adapting certain some kind of way. Adapt? Wait, what do you mean by that? Uh, it's like whatever ends up hurting you, as time goes on, or at the very least. As long as you heal fully from it, 
you can get stronger to the point where it doesn't anymore. What? Uh, there is a... It's called a... a how should I put this? Oh! Okay, I know the perfect thing. It's called Survivor, well, at least Survival Empowerment. Yes, you gain strength by surviving something. Like, say, if you got burned by something but fully healed from it. That way, if the same thing that burned you will have to be stronger to do it again. Oh. In fact, look at this. Watch. As then, recovery goal cuts in. Just a little nick. Nothing to really worry about. One thing is, uh, no blood comes out of it. Really? Then, as I look closer, as it slowly begins to heal itself. Whoa. Mom, what, what does this mean? Well, you're the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Yeah. For that, well, for Izuku, it's true. Full on, no metaphor meaning true. What doesn't kill him makes him stronger. He even got a slight healing factor from it, what it seems, which could be due to my quirk. And his body is somewhat seeing it as a something to pick up on. What? Wait, so are you saying you're. you constantly healing him? Well, no, uh, it's not completely my quirk that did this. Apparently, for some reason, he had no uh, extra joint or whatnot when it comes to his having a quirk. You can't really put a child, a four-year-old, through intense, dangerous situations as a test when it comes to seeing if they have a quirk or not. So that's probably why he was diagnosed quirkless. Understand? He kind of. But if anything, it seems as though you finally falling. Uh, oh wait, that's right. Ugh. There was someone there with me. What? Who? Please tell me you know who. Like, no, no, I didn't know him. At least I don't think I did. This guy, he was yelling. I was looking down from the roof and I was feeling more liberated, but then I stopped myself. This is when he showed up from behind the door. I don't get it. Huh. So it wasn't Katsumi. <laughs> Katsumi? Wait, what about her? Is she alright? <sighs> She's sorry. What? She's, uh, she's sorry for what she did, for what she said, and handing him a new notebook with a bunch of things written in it already, but it's in Katsumi's handwriting. She says she's sorry. 
a lot. But you don't think Kasumi had anything to do with this? Did she not tell you to take a swan dive? Uh, yeah. I figured. So, is it not her fault? Well, I didn't go through with it. Someone pushed me. Just wish I knew who that guy was. I don't remember seeing him from anywhere. Hmm. At the very least, we should have let people know about what his quirk or the fact that someone pushed him. Probably both. Both, most likely. But if anything, I know I'm going to hate this. What? You're going to have to train that quirk of yours, son. Wh really? Yeah, really. If you don't, <sighs> you may not be able to reach your full potential as a hero. And... I don't want this happening to you again. Understood? Uh, uh, y yes. Yes, of course. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> Wait, but... but how, is it, how is this going to really work here? I mean... Yeah. I... Oh, man. But how strong am I really? No clue. If anything, this quirk is different. I don't remember anyone having a quirk like this survival empowerment thing. But one thing's for sure you're going to have to put yourself through the ringer. And uh, surviving is a lot easier said than done. We consider what you got to put yourself uh, through. <sighs> okay. So, one thing I need to do is train. I would suggest getting a fighting style. Something that works with you. And with that big brain of yours and these notes, I can see you becoming a great hero. Thank you. Seriously. A boy with a quirk. Who would have thought? If anything, huh? It's actually quite fitting. You of all people, King of Quirk, you are definitely one of the few who deserve it. Okay, so, what do we do now, Mom? I say you pay a visit to Katsumi and Mitsuki. I'm pretty sure they would like to see you. Are you sure, Inko? Yeah, Mom. <sighs> I, I'm sure. I, I mean... She didn't plan on any of this. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we were pretty hard on her before. Uh, no, I mean, yes, you you did uh, seem a bit harsh, but me, Ingo, don't worry about it. Let's, let's just get... Izuku, 
over there. As soon as they show up, Miski, she is pretty much. You go, what are you doing here? I'm here to talk to Katsumi. Or at least, we have someone who would like to talk to her. As, yeah, this is pretty much the pure shock of seeing Izuku, BC, like, don't tell me you're a ghost. Like, uh, no, I, this, this is me. I, I, this is the real me. Are you certain? Because, if anything, like I told my daughter, don't worry, Aunt Misuki, I'm not mad at Katsumi. At the end of the day, it was my choice to go up there. I didn't plan on being pushed. What? Yep. He was pushed. He doesn't know who this man was. No, he looked around my age. Well, either way. So it wasn't my daughter. No. So, it was so great to hear. Believe me. Parmy was hoping it wasn't your daughter. Yeah. But, if it wasn't her, then who was it? I don't know. I, I wish I did, but I didn't recognize him. He was definitely different. But the thing was off about him. Couldn't really explain it. Sorry. So, uh, can I go see her? Yes. But be careful. She's uh, been through a lot. As Izuku, he's Misi's warning. Uh, uh, hey, Katsumi. Go away. Katsumi. Enough. Yeah, Izuku. I killed him. I need to never be a hero. I'll never be able to forgive myself for what I did. Katsumi. Go away, voices. As Izuku was like, okay, this is apparently not going anywhere so he just grabs grabs me by the shoulder her actually yeah she falls over so, uh, as boy Zuku sees is Katsumi a skeleton of her former self him being in complete shock like what happened to you Izuku. Y yeah. Is no, 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 no. You're you're dead. You're dead. I I. I haven't seen you since. No, I'm here. You don't believe it. I actually have a quirk. As she starts cheering up, that you must be dead. And this is your next life, or you're here to torture me for all I've done of course not as yes it's pretty much a sweet and touching moment for as yeah Izuku being how he is he just hugs Katsumi her actually holding on to him is like so it really is you this isn't a trick you're not a ghost this is you're really here yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm so sorry. 
for what? It was all my fault. I should have never told you to do that. It's not your fault. I promise.